the tests were carried out according to the following the methodology. They gained altitude up to 10,000 meters. They accelerated the plane to its maximum flight speeds at maximum thrust the engine. Then the plane is slow and it was smoothly moving downwards. In depending on the angle of inclination of the trajectory, we reached a measured altitude of 7,000 meters, different speed readings. Quite suddenly, a strong rumble, similar to the drum beat that it had, had an intimidating effect on the pilot, especially someone experiencing this for the first time. The reason for this rumble, perhaps we should look for formation of small local jump seals, which, however, are still they do not affect the flight stability. That is, it's like it was a kind of warning. At first, we assumed that this was to blame a large airplane cabin lamp. However, the same noise occurred on the plane, equipped with a small and low, in, in quotation marks, a racing cockpit light. This, the only copy of the lantern, was very perfectly shaped and so small that the pilot could only fit in the cockpit in, in the full sense of the expression by pulling in head on shoulders. The view from the cockpit was, naturally, it is limited. With further acceleration, at true the flight speed is approximately 950 km per hour, that's 0.85 Mach, the plane suddenly jerked over to the nose, increased by about 15 degrees. That is, it increased the angle of descent and rushed to the ground. We call this phenomenon the Maha stroke. At the same time, press the control knob the elevator began to operate like this large reverse loads, coming impossible. The pilot must, I had to pull with all my strength with one hand, take the handle on yourself, and with the other hand carefully and bring the stabilizer in a measured manner the position corresponding to the alignment of the plane.